China has the most diverse array of missiles in its inventory, ranging from short-range ballistic missiles and cruise missiles, such as the DF-15, to um, ICBMs, such as the DF-31. And the US Intelligence and Space Center um, analyst estimate in July 2013 stated that they had the most diverse and active development program. And this is supported by the fact that they are developing in all areas of their, of their force, from short to long-range missiles. The development of the missile force in China really stems from their switch away from being a purely strategic deterrent force to um, delivering that conventional precision guide and strike capability. And the focus is on accuracy rather than range. Um, we've seen a reduction in the circuit error probable of their missiles, so they can actually perform that precision strike capability. Um, we've also seen their warheads change from purely nuclear to actually high explosive as well, so they can actually deliver a non-conventional strike and a conventional strike capability as well. Range isn't the biggest factor for China purely because although they have long-range missiles such as the DF-31 which have a range of 12 to 14,000 kilometers, we've seen a trend that their modern missiles actually have a lower range than their predecessors. So the DF-25 which entered service in 2005 to 2008 has a range of 3,200 kilometers compared to 4,750 for its predecessor the DF-4, which entered service in 1980. The biggest change with these missiles is, is its circular error probable and its accuracy, with the DF-25 having an accuracy to within 10 meters, whereas the DF-4 has an accuracy to more like 1,500 meters. And this is mainly due to enhancements with the processor and the sensor, uh, with the DF-25 believed to have um, guidance provided by either active or passive radar, or possibly even the imaging infrared. China's focus on accuracy rather than range is a real indicator of the fact that they are focused on regional conflicts with the ability to target Asia with their missile assets. If we look at the location of the second artillery core units within China itself, you can see that all of the potential targets, be it Taiwan or India, fall within the minimum range of their missiles. For, so for example, the DF-31 has the ability to strike North America and and Europe with a range of 12 to 14,000 kilometers. However, its minimum range is 1,500 kilometers, which puts them in range of Taiwan as well, and they can actually use this capability against any threat in the region.